for the rest of our lives, we're going to be humbled. It's going to happen. Yeah. So how do you take it? How do you inspire others through it? My whole thesis has always been like, try to solve a problem that hasn't been solved before. That's I think crazy. fear, without a doubt, is one of my biggest drivers. What are you afraid of? Failure. Every, I, I, Does you it know. keep you pedaling on the bike faster? Is that what it is? It keeps me pedaling. Today we're talking with Mark French, who is a serial entrepreneur who is responsible for either inventing or partnering to invent NBCU Everywhere, Court Grip, Mission Brand, partnering with the Players Tribune, Fit Team 5, and of course, now the CEO of X2, Mark French. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting next to you having this conversation. Welcome to Q-Tales. Josh can't believe that we're sitting here because we've known each other for a long time. <laughs> a long time. You're responsible for my best job of my life. Uh, as as you well, you, and it will be forever until my end of my career. I'll say the best job I ever had was when I worked for Mark French on the set of Golden's Gadgets. Great, <laughs> we were ahead of our time. I want to take you all the way back if oh we boy. can. Yeah, sure. There's a a story. Tell me about your almost getting kicked out of school and how that got you to be exposed to the mix. I wasn't the best student. Um, growing up, and as a parent now, and I think as the world's changed, I think we know people learn differently, mm -hmm. right? And I think, you know, one of my superpowers we joke about is like being able to control the ADHD mm. in terms of, you know, how do you organize your thoughts but get a lot done mm. at multiple times. At a young age, that, that was really, really hard for me to do. Yeah. I loved, loved, loved the sport of basketball. Through the grace of God and my mother and my dad, we had the opportunity to, to go to a, a charity event mm -hmm. where my idol at the time, Mark Jackson, uh, who came from St. John's, point guard, New York City, born and bred, uh, was on the New York Knicks. And I had the opportunity to, to speak to him. He was participating in a charity event that my mother was involved with, so mm -hmm. it was kind of a unique environment. Sure. Uh, but it was one of those million people around. Yeah. Saw him for two seconds, didn't see him again. He definitely did not remember me. <laughs> um, and my old man at the time made a deal with me, like, look, if you, can I curse? Yes, you can. You get your shit together. <laughs> I'll take you to a Knicks game. But you know what that means is like, you gotta get your grades up, you gotta go to school, you gotta concentrate, that sort of thing. And I did, and we were able to go to a Knicks game and we're walking into the arena and I said to my old man, I'm like, I'm gonna go see Mark as if I knew him. <laughs> and he's like, no, you're not. There's like a million security guards, you're not gonna get down there. And I was able to get down there um, made on eye contact, he, he probably didn't remember. And he was really cool, he just waved off security. And I said, hey, we met at that event in Queens. You were working on the charity that my mother was involved with, and it clicked. And we talked for 30 seconds. I'm like, I want to be a ball boy. You guys are, you know, practicing at SUNY Purchase, which is in Westchester. And he was basically like, yeah, you got to talk to the training staff. Got it. But a lot of those instincts, it was, well, who, who's the head guy? He pointed to me, and I walked over and said, yeah, Mark told me to talk to you about having a job. <laughs> And, you know, and it's just one thing led to the what? next. What? You showed up at practice and the guy was like, who are you again? <laughs> I'm, I'm the, like, I'm here for my job. You're coming to Madison Square Garden and you're like, I know, I'm just gonna walk down to the floor at, without kind of, did you recognize the leap that you were making there as a, as a, as a Yeah, as a I would person? say, you know, and it's also like a business lesson. Just act like you've been there, right? Just act like you've been there. Act like you're supposed to be there. I wasn't stopping and asking, hey, can I go here? I was just, just walking cool. where I felt I deserved to go. <laughs> Yeah. There's a great quote that, uh, that uh, the Mark actually uh, thought, said about you. Um, he showed the same amount of respect and humility to the security guards at the arena as he did for the NBA, NBA All-Stars. That's what made him unique as a teenager, and honestly, I, what I think has made him the success he is today. But first of all, what a nice guy. He's the best. Um, I've learned more about just life in general from Mark than, yeah. than basketball. Uh, you know, he's a man of faith. He treats everybody with respect. Mm -hmm. And I do too. Um, and it's something you know I take a lot of pride in. And I was really humbled that he noticed that. 